Hi, my name is Nico Rue here with Tiny Circuits, and today I'm going to show you how to build your very own tiny arcade using our kits that we launched on Kickstarter. I'd first like to thank everyone who backed our campaign from Kickstarter and elsewhere. We couldn't have done this project without you guys, and we can't wait to hear about all the games you guys develop and look forward to seeing you guys have some fun with this. So, without any further ado, here's the tutorial on how to build our arcade. Uh, if you're hung up on just a couple of steps and you don't feel like watching the whole video, I'll have a screen coming up shortly that will show the exact time when every step is, so you can just pause it there and fast forward to the part you need to. Anyways, enjoy the tutorial and have fun with the arcade. Okay, so before we begin assembling our tiny arcade, let's go through the components real quick first. You should have 12 laser cut black or clear acrylic pieces, or wood depending on the kit you ordered. You should have one tiny screen plus, one component board with pre-assembled speakers, joystick, and buttons, one battery, and if you ordered the version with a micro SD card, then it should come with a micro SD card. Please contact us if you haven't received anything that you should have. So step one consists of using part four and part six and seven. And all we're going to do is insert this piece in between these two. So you take one of the sides of the arcade here, and it's hard to see on the camera, but you look for the thin side. So this is the side with the two shorter ends, and this is the side with the fatter ends. This is going to be the exterior, the side with the fatter ends will be the exterior of our cabinet. Then we're going to take piece four, and we're going to take the smaller end, and we're going to slide it as intuitively shown, kind of like right here on that piece so it fits nice and snug like so. Then we're going to do the same thing just with the opposite side on this other piece with the switch here. We're going to take the small, the thin side and put it inward towards the arcade with the fat side being out. And we're just going to link these two together like so. Nice and firm. Secured in place and that is step one. So now for step two, we're going to take part one, and we're just going to add it to our little cabinet here. So we're going to have the fat side, the fat tapered side here, bring that closer to the lens, the fat side is going to point down with the thin side pointing up. And all we're going to do is take it, and we're going to line it up kind of in the holes as it should kind of fit nicely right there. Make sure the left side, or the, uh, the big hole is on the far left here and we're going to put it underneath and then we're just going to rotate it into place and as you can see that makes a nice locked edge with the bottom of piece four and then with each of the sides of piece six and seven that's step two okay so now we're going to start step three so for step three you're going to take part two and we're just going to insert it into this top little overhang and rotate it in place this one's going to be, require a little bit of force, but it's important that you don't try to really get it in there and force your way in. You might have to wiggle and jiggle it kind of into place. So you want to start with the fat end, the, the thick tapered side of part two pointing up. And you're going to just simply insert it with the three prongs going into the arcade and line it up with these little crenellations here. Okay, So you put that in and you line it up with these two notches being in here and here and we just need to rotate it into place again this is going to require a little bit of finessing but if you do it right it should click in like so we have a nice firm connection and we'll straighten that back out and that is step three okay so step four is really easy we're just going to plug the battery into the tiny screen plus the battery port is on the underside here, and it's right where my finger's touching this little beige little cube. You just plug the battery in like so. If your tiny screen plus is already turned on and something appears on the screen, that's okay. Just turn it back off. But that's what it'll look like if it comes on. So just turn it off and leave it off for a second, and that is our next step. Okay, so step five involves us now inserting the tiny screen plus with our arcade cabinet here. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take the tiny screen plus, and we're going to go to the underside of the arcade here, 
and you'll see the switch here on the arcade there's a little inner part of that switch where there's a small hole that will mount the switch on the tiny screen plus this little black switch hanging off right there you want to insert that into this little switch hole here and then what you, the other two things the other things you need to worry about are there's two small holes here on the side of the cabinet that you can see in the reflection and there's two other holes right here and the tiny screen plus has two small buttons on each side here here and here and so we want to line all four of these little buttons up and line the switch up while putting this in nice flat and smoothly so what I would like to do is I like to kinda expand these side panels out like wings a little bit just to no no need to like break it open or anything but just to get a few millimeters of wiggle room and then simply just insert this guy in like so it's clicked into place with the switch. Yep, that is step five. Okay, so step six is really easy. We're just going to take our component board here, and if you notice that the component board has this little beige male connector here, and the back of the tiny screen plus has the female connector here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just insert the two and connect them at that junction. Make sure you hang the battery over the side so that way you can fit the components in behind it. If the battery is dangling here, you won't be able to get it into an upright position later on. So dangle it over the side like so. And we're going to just connect these two together like this, nice and easy. Nope, oh, apparently it's not nice and easy. Uh, we're just going to make sure we get a decent fit. There we go. So it's connected into place. You see the innards are hanging down below. You have the speaker here and the arc the buttons and the joystick here. Keep the battery dangling still. We'll be fixing that soon. And that is step six. Okay, so moving on to step seven, all we're going to do here is, you'll see on the side panels here, you have this rectangular hole here, and on the other side you have one here. We're just going to take our round speaker, and we're going to line up the edges of the speaker with these two rectangular holes. So you just lock the one in place, lock the other in place here, we have a nice firm connection. That's step seven. Moving on to step eight, the first thing we have to do is take our cabinet and piece number 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to use piece number 10 to hold the joystick and the buttons in place. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to take the joystick and buttons and we're going to fit them through that piece number 1 that we inserted initially with the three holes. And we're going to make sure it's nice and snug in there. It'll want to come out because the springiness of the component board wants to push it out. So kind of hold it in place there. And then while you're doing that, we're going to take piece 10. Here's what piece 10 looks like. And you want to take the fat tapered end, and you want to make sure that the two holes here line up with the two little nubs on the bottom of the component board here. That way it'll lock into place nicely. So take the fat end, and the fat end should point up towards the, the joystick and the buttons. So we're going to fit this guy nice and snugly in right underneath. It may be a loose connection for you depending on the, the manufacturing of the kit. That's okay if it is because we're going to have another piece that locks this, this in place. That's step eight. So moving on to step nine, it's really quite easy. We're going to take part five here and all we're going to do is take any kind of tape or double sided tape. We're just going to attach a, take a small piece and we're going to put it right here on the bottom side on the thin tapered side so if you look at the edges it's the thinner tapered side is what we just applied the the tape to then what we're going to do is we're going to take the side of the text of the battery and we're just going to connect that to our tape side 
so that way we're not covering the speaker holes here. We want to make sure we don't get any tape on that or any battery across that. And that's step nine. Okay, so step 10 is really just the logical extension of step 9, and all we're going to do is take part 5 here that we just taped the battery to, and we're going to snap it into place over the speaker here. So nice and easy, you line up the holes. Sometimes you can get a really tight fit. Be careful, this is a piece that will sometimes tend to crack if not lined up correctly. So really kind of take your time with this piece. Oop, piece came loose here, that's okay pop that back in but really take your time with this connect it slowly that is nice and firm that's step 10 okay so now we're going to move on to part 11 so part 11 what we're going to do is we're going to take our cabinet and we're going to actually take piece number 11 and we're going to fit this over the top of the arcade. So you want to make sure that the rounded rectangular hole is covering, or is exposing rather, the volume wheel that's right here. And you want to let that come through because if you put it the opposite way, A, it won't fit, and B, it'll cover the volume wheel, and nobody wants that. So you want to make sure that the thin tapered side is pointing down into the arcade and I find it helpful to kind of insert the back end first and then rotate it to the front into place and then I'll make a nice solid like connection this is another piece that's also easy to break if it's not lined up correctly so if you have a bit of a snug fit take your time wiggle it around and make sure you get nice and flush with all the edges and that's step 11 Okay, so now we're moving on to step 12. For step 12, we're just going to take part 9, and at the top we have an opening here. We're just going to press it with the thin side going in. We're just going to press it like a nice little jigsaw puzzle piece firmly into the arcade here. Add another loose. Nice and snug. That's step 12. Okay now for step 13 we're just going to take part number 8 here and with the thin side going in towards the arcade we're going to snap it into place right here at the front underneath the joystick. So we're just going to insert him with the flat side going towards the top of the arcade and lock him in nice and snug. That is step 13. Okay, step 14, we're just going to take part number 3 and we're going to insert it into the bottom of the arcade. So line up the holes with the thin side pointing inside of the arcade and just snap him into place. Nice. That's step 14. And our last step, step 15, is quite easy. We're just going to take part 12 and with the thin side going into the arcade, we're going to cover our last remaining hole right in the front by the joystick and buttons. Make that nice and flush with the edges. And your tiny arcade is now fully assembled and can work right now. Uh, in the next step, I'll show you where to put the micro SD card. But right now, if you didn't order the micro SD card, your tiny arcade should work fully. It'll search for games and you can play them. So. Thanks for watching. So now on to the micro SD step in the tiny arcade. So all you need to do is just take your micro SD card with your tiny arcade games preloaded onto it. Insert it in at the top here. There's a micro SD holder. Insert it gently in there. Press it down. And then when you turn the arcade on, it'll search for an SD card. It, oh didn't find it at first. Hold on. Let's just turn it back on. There it goes. And we can play different things like Tiny Invaders, we have Tiny Shooter, Asteroids, Raycaster, Flappy Birds, and a video player. Tetris. So let's just play Tiny Shooter. Open that up. And we are in business. Thanks for watching everybody and have fun on your tiny arcade. Oh, I should mention one other thing before we go. 
Uh, there's the volume control wheel is on the top. So you just turn that until you get no volume or as much volume as you want. It's quite simple. All right, everyone, enjoy your tiny arcade. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to talk about how to charge your tiny arcade. And so what you'll need is you'll need uh, your tiny arcade kit along with a micro USB cord like the one here. We're going to use a clear tiny arcade kit so it's easier for you guys to see. But the black one is just the same as well as the wooden one, so they all work in the exact same way. And so anyways, the first thing you have to do is look for the micro USB port on the bottom side of your tiny arcade. It's that little port right there that I'm pointing at with the cord. And you just have to weave your cord through kind of the bottom and plug that in. And when you plug it in, you'll notice that little orange light appear. That means that your tiny, your tiny screen plus is charging. And when that light turns off, then your battery is fully charged. Um, very simple to upload programs to your tiny Ar to your tiny arcade. All you have to do is connect your tiny arcade to your Arduino IDE, turn on the tiny arcade, and you can upload any new programs, games, and anything else you want. That's how you charge and upload. Thanks for watching, guys.